Hi there, Smart Drivers. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about CDL air brakes, passing the test, and knowing the five in cab checks that you have to do and the specific numbers that you have to memorize for the purposes of passing your CDL road test. So that's what we're going to help you with today. Stick around, we'll be right back with that information. Hi there, Smart Drivers. Welcome back. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about the CDL air brake in cab checks that you have to do the five checks of testing the governor the low air warning testing that the spring brakes or the emergency brakes rather apply between 20 and 45 testing the compressor which is often referred to as the build up test and then building to maximum pressure and doing your leak test and those are the five tests you have to do in cab and i have a checklist over at the smart drive test website that's going to help you with that and memorizing those numbers and if you check down in the description there you can find a link over to the Smart Drive Test website where you can pick up your checklist for the in cab CDL air brake checks that you have to do. Now, just before we get started here, Smart Drive Test helps new drivers get a license, veteran drivers to remain crash free, and CDL drivers to start a career as a truck or bus driver. So, if you're new here, consider subscribing as well. Hit that bell, that way you'll get instant notification when I get the videos up for you. What we're going to do here is I'm going to pull up some of the manuals in the United States and different states there and go through the manual, show you how easy it is to do a search of the manual and fill in the specific numbers that you need for your state and put them on the checklist and then you'll have those specific numbers which you can transfer to your flashcards. As well, over at the Smart Drive Test website, we've recently released uh, CDL Air Brakes Explained Simply, which is a manual that will help you to pass your CDL Air Brakes test and as well, you can find that link down in the description. So at the computer here, we're looking at the worksheet that I've created for you to do the five in-cab air brake checks that you need to do. And those consist of the governor test, the low air warning test, testing that the emergency brakes apply between 20 and 45. So these two tests will be combined. And then the compressor test and the leak test. Those are the five tests. Now, some jurisdictions like the province of uh, Manitoba here in Canada have also made another check that the trailer supply valve pops out above 50 uh, and you might have to check that for your jurisdiction but for the most part most states in the US and most provinces in Canada the trailer air supply valve and the emergency brakes apply between 20 and 45 so that's going to be one test so that's how we get to that so let's look up the governor test and we head over here to just get out of this page here and we go over to uh, Google, we look up here and we go CDL, CDL manual, and we'll pick California, CA is the short form for California, it pops right up at the top here. We click on this, all of these are searchable, uh, these manuals, these CDL manuals, so we go up to edit and we go to find and search the document and we get this up here and we go governor, spell that there click we've got 15 different ones so there's air compressor governor so this is not the information that we want so cutout is approximately 125 that's not the piece of information that we're looking for the specific piece of information that we're looking for here we go uh, air compressor governor cutout pressure test this performed test the air compressor should cut out no higher than 140 pounds per square inch that is for the purposes of your test that it has to cut out before 140. So that's what you would write here in the um, maximum here. You would write 140 pounds of pressure for the governor test. Now we gotta find the minimum uh, for this as well and see if we can find this. Keep clicking down here, air compressor cut-in pressure. So here's the cut-in pressure. This must occur no lower than 85 pounds for a bus and no lower than 100 pounds for a truck. So you gotta figure out whether you're driving a bus or a truck. If it's a bus, it's 85 pounds per square inch. And if it's a truck, it's 100 pounds per square inch. So we head back over here and now we're gonna go to the low air warning and now we'll look at Texas. So we'll go CDL manual, click over there, put TX for the short form for Texas. CDL manual comes up at the top and we search edit find uh low air air no air there we go low air pressure okay and an automatic 
wigwag, so it talks about wigwags in the system above 60 pounds. So it has to be above 60 pounds. So you go back over to your checklist here, low air warning, it's above 60. So you would write 60 plus PSI in here for the low air warning. Now this one here, as I said, trailer supply valve, just have a look for that if you're in your jurisdiction. The only jurisdiction I'm aware of is Manitoba, but for most of these, it's just gonna be the emergency uh, brakes apply. Uh, which is going to be the trailer air supply valve and the parking brake valve on the dash. The red and yellow buttons are going to pop out. So we're going to go and look up uh, CDL manual and we're going to go to the state of Florida, third largest, popu most populated state. So second one, commercial driver's manual in the state of Florida. And I've already been here and I know that these two things don't work. So I'm just going to go back here some of the, sometimes that's going to happen. You're going to click around. You're going to find that it doesn't work here. So it didn't work on this link here. The links were dead. Uh, somebody needs to contact them. So we go here to the Florida CDL manual. We see we have a table of contents here. Uh, we go down to air brakes, combination vehicles, air brakes, inspecting air brake systems. We go here and we are looking for final test. Um, walk around. No, we're not looking for walk around. Check air pressure buildup. Spring brakes come on automatically. This is the test uh, and they must come on between 20 and 40 PSI. So you go back to the checklist and you put that in here for this one and this one here. So 20 to 45, 20 to 45 pounds. The next one we're gonna do is the compressor test or off sometimes called the buildup test. So we'll go back here and we'll go to the next state which is the state of New York so CDL manual uh, NY is the short form for New York here and there's me with some of my CDL stuff CDL drivers manual um, and we go down here to looking for air brakes section 5 click on section 5 and we'll go control F build up uh, no inspecting air brakes during walk around test low air warning check check pressure build up so here we go pressure should build 85 to 100 pounds within 45 seconds uh, buh, buh, buh. 6 to 900 rpm so see typical it's 50 to 90 but for this if engine is operating at operating RPMs, which is probably about 600 RPM at a diesel engine, 85 to 145 seconds. So we go back to the check, and here you would put compressor test. Pressure would be, we go back here to, uh, pressure is 85 to 100 pounds, so 85 to 100. Time would be 45 seconds, and RPM would be 600, 700 RPM for the compressor test. And the last one we're gonna do is we're gonna do the leak test, and this is gonna depend on whether you're doing a single unit bus truck or trailer or whether you're doing truck and trailer or you're doing truck and multiple unit so that's what we're going to look for and on the last one we're going to go to the state of pennsylvania so cdl manual and we're going to go pa for the state of pennsylvania commercial driver's manual for the state of pennsylvania and we go here and we're going to look for leak test we get 105, that's not going to help us out here. Uh, so we'll try and put in test and see how many we get. We don't get any. Uh, air brakes, let's see if we can find the air brake section. Air brakes, there we go. Safety valve, da da da. Inspecting air brake components. So we wanna go to section five, seven. Okay, five, how far are we going? Section two, that's one, two, four, six, three, five. And here we go. Okay, here we go. Air leakage rate with a fully charged system, typically 125 pounds. Turn off the engine, release parking brakes. Uh, the loss rate should be less than two pounds in one minute for single vehicles, less than three pounds in one minute for a combination vehicle with air pressure buildup uh, to the air to governor cutoff 120 to 140 pounds. All right, so we've got two pounds and three pounds so we go back to our checklist here and for a single unit we're going to check that and we're going to put uh two pounds or sorry two pounds under pressure loss and we're going to put uh the amount of time is one minute so that's how you fill that out according to the different cdl manuals so that's how you fill out the checklist 
Down in the description, I'll also put an infograph that's available over at the Smart Drive Test website. Use the infograph in combination with the checklist and that will show you how to do the in-cab checks and the sequence that you need in order to be able to do that successfully for passing your road test. As well, over at the website, I'll put the link down in the description there if you're interested in the air brake explained simply manual that will give you all the information you need to be successful on your CDL air brakes. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Rick with Smart Drive Test. Remember, pick up the best answer, not necessarily the right answer. Have a great day. Bye now.